So what we're talking about is uh, Talbot County Bill 1305, which was introduced by the <clears throat> Talbot County Council um, a couple of weeks ago. What it was conceived of originally was um, as a mechanism to try to find a way to uh, facilitate the redevelopment of the Harbor Town uh, Martingham facility, which you may be familiar with down in St. Michael's. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> what the um, new owner of the property found was that um, his plans to upgrade the facility were um, impeded by the current zoning that's in effect down there and he wanted to find a way to um, uh, introduce some new concepts and, and uh, new facilities there um, that he couldn't do under um, the existing. For example, there are a lot of non-conforming uses on the property. You can't get variances from non-conforming uses, those kinds of things. So the council had a work session with the developer and his attorneys uh, on developing a, a, a new um, zoning uh, provision <coughs> That would be that would create a new district where you, which whereby you could um, reconfigure, rehabilitate uh, older properties such as one in Martingham, um, and that was what we assumed was in the works. That's what I was told was in that. I mean, I, everyone I have talked to, uh, without exception, has said um, this is great. I mean, this guy's proposing uh, a good project. Um, you know, more jobs, uh, rehabilitate the property. No one's against doing that. What happened was that somewhere along the way, <clears throat> and I'm not pr uh, privy to all the detail details on how it happened, um, someone on the council, uh, presumably on the council, decided that this would be, this redevelopment district would be a good opportunity to expand opportunities for zoning changes throughout the entire county. And so when the bill was introduced, we found that, uh, unlike what I had been told, it was not targeted for the Martingham project <clears throat> or a similar commercial site somewhere that may be outmoded. But instead, it provides for the so-called redevelopment of every single improved lot in Talbot County that is five acres or more. But actually, it's every single improved lot in Talbot County because the council can decide to um, apply the provisions to a lot of less than five acres if they so decide. So it has broad ramifications for the zoning throughout the county and, by the way, in the villages. Well, well. The, from a planning perspective, this is what's referred to as a floating zone, and it's not a novel idea. We have other floating zones, uh, for example, in Talbot County. We have a manufactured housing floating zone. We have a, um, we have an affordable housing floating zone. We have an historic district floating zone. And <clears throat> in terms of efficiencies or purpose, the way these floating zones work is that, as the name implies, they kind of float above the existing zoning in the county. And you can uh, propose a project that will entail bringing the zone down on that particular parcel. Um, the difference that we have here is that typically these floating zone uh, provisions, and you'll see this in our zoning ordinance with regard to the other floating zones, have some hard quantifiable standards in them. They'll have height limitations, setback limitations, you know, use limitations. Um, you can't change a historic house into a commercial restaurant, you know, in, in the historic uh, floating zone, those kinds of things. And what's different about this particular bill is that those quantifiable standards all go away and really the county council decides what they will be. I, I am cautiously optimistic that that will happen. Uh, I do not believe that all of the four council members who voted to introduce this legislation truly understood all the details of what it entailed. Uh, if you listen to the tape of the council meeting when it was introduced, the description they were given of what the bill does was all focused on this is how we're going to improve the Martingham property, which is what they thought they were doing. But then, okay, let's introduce it. And then we start looking at it, and it's, so it's it, it, a whole lot more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think that now that it's out there, the, how uh, significantly expansive this legislation potentially is, that I, I do believe um, some of the council members, hopefully a majority, will rethink whether we should push forward 
or instead, you know, pull it back. Let's get some reasonable amendments in place, and let's tailor it for starters towards getting that Martingham Harbor Town project was, going yeah. as quickly as we can. Yeah. Because all this is going to just delay the project, which no one wants to do. So they